Unique signs of fans' appreciation visible throughout Marigny and the Bywater even after another team played in the Saints' place on Super Bowl Sunday. It's crazy because there's people that have heard about it that are coming from all over the city. 38 signs in total. Coach Sean Payton, active and former players, all represented. And even though he's not an active player, he's still very much a saint, always a saint. I kind of requested Deuce. At Anchor and Arrow, a sign shows the man who very well might be an actual saint. Everybody knows how important Steve Gleason is to our city and to the whole state. It's an honor to have it. Artist Devin DeWolf is behind the signs. Originally from South Carolina, he moved here eight years ago. He hangs a Marcus Williams sign above his house. The way that everybody was like, it's cool, Marcus, you know, we still love you. And I just decided that he, he would become my favorite. Neighbors, friends, and even strangers started to request their favorite players. Each sign DeWolf gave out for free. But then came Alvin Kamara. For this massive mural on the side of New Orleans Art Gallery on St. Claude, those who got the signs, along with others, pitched in. It's about $3,000 when you add up everything. On a GoFundMe page. And I just started looking at places in the neighborhood that had a big wall and preferably something that had graffiti on it. If you cover up graffiti with beautiful art, uh, they will leave it alone. Why do it? Well, because in this town, Unlike in L.A. or in New England, the Saints kind of just become part of the family. I blame it all on his, his daughter because when she was very young, they would come by on the stroller and I could hear something and she was trying to say, who dat? Who dat? So I really believe Devin's daughter's first words were, who dat? Signs or not, those are words this family still lives by. Paul Dudley, yeah. Eyewitness News. All right, we echoed that sentiment. The Super Bowl protest celebrations made quite a splash. Sports Center tweeted a video noting that Saints fans were lining the streets instead of watching. Sports Illustrated tweeted, New Orleans is too busy having a parade to watch the Rams in the Super Bowl. Yahoo Sports said it seemed like all of New Orleans turned out for the party. SB Nation said Saints were having a big angry party, while Bleacher reports that fans were turning out in droves. And whether you